and welcome to the 21st Century Hermitage. Today I'm here to answer one question. Why is my sweet corn starchy? This is a fairly common question in gardening and there are several different reasons why your sweet corn is starchy and not as sweet as it could be. Cross-pollination. This is where gardeners have planted more than one variety of sweet corn in close proximity. Um, sweet corn cross-pollinates really quite easily and it will always turn starchy. I'm afraid there's no remedy for this. If this happens to you, you've just got to learn from your mistakes. Healthy pollination, choose one variety. Sweet corn plants are pollinated by the wind. They are wind pollinated. They need to be planted in close proximity to one another so the pollen can travel from plant to plant. These are the tassels. They're the top male part of the plant and this is where the pollen comes from. So as they're blowing around in a gentle breeze, they pollinate each other and the pollen does a circuit and travels from plant to plant. For this reason, they are usually planted in a grid formation as I've done here. They can also be planted in a circular spiraling pattern like so. They should never be planted in a single row because it just won't pollinate. Poor pollination can also make your sweet corn taste not as good as it could be. Uh, and another sign of poor pollination is some kernels missing, as there are in this cob here. For great tasting sweet corn, always ensure that you plant it in a nice sunny position as well. Um, the soil will need a sufficient amount of fertility, so it's really good to dig in some compost and some manure. And since sweet corn likes a slightly acidic soil as well, you can dig in a bit of leaf mulch. And if you're growing corn on clay, then you're going to have to work a little bit harder and dig in a little bit more fertility as corn doesn't like clay that much. Clay is actually packed with nutrients and fertility. You've just got to work it a lot and add stuff to it to really release that potential. Both our plots growing corn were completely new this year and what we did is we actually buried a lot of fertility underneath the ground. Another thing you can do, if you're preparing a plot for the following year, you could perhaps consider growing a green manure crop on top and dig that in uh, a few weeks before you plant your As corn. As an extra measure, we actually fed them every two weeks with a liquid seaweed organic fertilizer, which we had some great results with. Our sweet corn has grown lovely this year, but it has been a little starchy, and we've been thinking why. We've given them the right site and soil needs, we've given them the right feeding, we've planted them right, they've obviously pollinated. But we've read up about an other cause that might cause starchiness. It's less likely to be found in more commercial strains of corn, like F1s and commercially grown seed. However, we are using heritage varieties this year, and apparently, your best, if you're storing sweet corn like we do in our freezer, then it's a matter of getting the boiling water ready before you start harvesting. Snap the corn off and take it straight to the water and boil it, let it cool and freeze it and store it away. Um, because with this type of variety, the more traditional varieties, they're sweet when you pick them, but very quickly the sugars turn to starch inside the okay, corn. So to recap, as soon as you pick your corn cobs, boil them, and either eat them or store them away to keep the sweetness. You may also have starchy sweet corn because you haven't harvested the corn cobs at the exact right moment. There's a little test you can do if you'd like to come this way. First indicator if your corn is ready to harvest or not is here, it's the silks, they're the, the fluffy trimmy bits. Now if they're a dark brown colour that's usually a good indicator that it's a good time to harvest your corn. I'm going to snap this one off. And that's it harvest. Carb also feels like I can I can feel well formed kernels inside so let's have a look. Not bad at all. Oh yeah that's quite a good example. Pinch test on the kernels. Now if clear juice comes out then it's not ready to be harvested. If creamy milky juice comes out then it's definitely ready to be harvested. And if no juice comes out at all, then that's a good indication that your corn's gone past its best. This one looks good to go, if not slightly over its best. So we've got some water boiling back at the campsite and we're gonna stick it in and see if boiling it immediately uh, reduces the starchiness of our corn. 
Obviously, it's not too starchy for the little critter that ate this. It's had a right I'll go on several of the cobs. I'll completely strip this cob, whatever it is. Um, to be honest with you, our main harvest is um, over now, and we've just left a few on this patch, uh, basically for display pur purposes of making this video. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up a camera trap and see if we can film what's been eating this corn. I really hope we're going to get a chance to film this before the heavens open. It's been a hell of a strange summer. Uh, normally rain in the late afternoon, but we've had to restoke the fire. We're getting the cauldron boiling. We're going to stick the last of the corn in and see if that's correct. We can make it taste sweet again by boiling it straight after picking it. Okay, being very careful. You can see we've now got one boiling cauldron. I'm going to put these in gently. I'm going to cover those straight back up because you don't want to lose any heat in one of these things. I'm going to give that a couple of minutes and then we'll see. These look good to me. Okay, testing time, taste testing. Now I'm not going to cover this in butter and salt and say, oh it tastes good in butter and salt because everything tastes good with butter and salt. I'm just going to go on and taste it, um, just boiled on its own. Mm. That's lovely. That definitely worked. Mm. The simple things in life, eh? A mountain view and your own fresh corn. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to sit here and enjoy this corn. If you like the video, then please give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can also follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time at the 21st Century Hermitage.